Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Trail. In this video, we are going to create ASP.NET Core MVC application using Visual Studio 2022 Framework 6.0. So once you open Visual Studio 2022, click on Create New Project. Select this file for MVC and select ASP dotnet core web app model view controller click on next name it as first core mvc app click on next for now i will untick configure for https select framework 6.0 and click on create so this video especially for the beginner work just getting started with the Visual Studio 2022 and creating their first MVC web application. So you can see the project is loaded. It has created certain default folders and it has the dependency where we add your libraries. Then it has www root folder where it contains all your CSS, JavaScript and other libraries, bootstrap and everything. Then there is a folder called controller model and view this is a default structure of the mvc architectural pattern project where we have a controller model and view then we have app.json file which is similar to web.config file which we had in the previous dot in versions here also you can add your connection database connection string and other uh, values key values which you can retrieve at runtime uh, from this page js uh, file from this file and finally we have the program.cs which declares your uh, web app instance and then uh, creates this uh, pipeline of https request along with certain parameters which is used for routing and authorization and most importantly the map control route which actually directs the application on which controller to call and inside the controller which method that is index to call so this was the overall structure of the project now when you look at the controller class there is one controller called home.controller which has two methods which is very important to uh, note one is uh, index and the pri privacy now if you look at the view in the home controller since this is a home controller because the name is home in your view there is a folder called home and it has these two views that is pages one is an index and second is a privacy now if you go back to your program.cs when you run this application by default your home controller will be called first and inside the home controller your index method will call will be initiated that means technically when your application is loaded it will call the home, at home controller and then it will call the index controller now index will call the page so if you, if you right click and say go to view this page will be called where we can see the home page and welcome and some links to your .NET website so let's go ahead and run it before running this application also make a note in your views there is something called shared which is created by default and especially note the underscore layout.cs html now this is the main container the boilerplate where uh, it will apply all your css and also apply a bootstrap for making your website responsive so all these JS files which are over here in www root folder is referenced over here and this is a shared file so any new view or um, page which you add you can link this uh, CSS over there automatically so that you get the same look and feel now your underscore layer dot html contains the menu the top menu and then links to two th these two pages which I showed you to you that is the index and the privacy now let's go ahead for a better understanding run this application and see things in action <coughs> so 
So the default page is loaded. As you can see, it is a title, project title is displayed over here with the home and the privacy page over here. Now my default, as I mentioned, it is displaying you index page, which contains this. You can see, now if you click on this, it will display the privacy policy page. Now this is the layout page which I was referring which has a top menu and the CSS applied to it which makes your website responsive. Responsive, you can see it is responsive and also applies the CSS. Now if you want to make some changes, you want to change the name of the project and uh, make some changes of view, you can do that. Let's go ahead. We will select the layout page and you see this page over here these are the menu bar and you can change it this is a title page so we can say my first is content code mvc app this becomes your page title this is your portal you can say ASP.NET and we see this becomes a title which is displayed now here you can see this is a two menu so we will add one menu over here I'll show it you step by step how to do that for a better understanding for now we can go ahead and in the index page and you can also add your own tag you can say welcome to Digital Tech Joint and you can say contact Digital Tech Joint dot com and if you and the application you see these changes <coughs> so you change this title my ASP.NET MVC and then welcome to digital tech join and contact us email address okay so this is how you can make the changes in uh, in the view now for much better understanding let's add your own controller and uh, we will change the default redirection so what we can do is that we can add a new view in the same controller so I say public I action and I say my customers and return view so my customers is returning a view so this my customer view is still not created see if it is see there is no view created or no cs html page created for my customers i just added a method now what we in order to add a view just right click on this and say add view and say so this is my customers see this is added over here my custom and you can just copy this from your index paste it over here and say my customers customer portal so my view is ready with some text okay so I created one more method called my customers or uh, now if you right click and say go to view it will redirect to my my view my customers view now I will go to the default layout page and I will add one more navigation items 
this will be the home controller because the method is still in the home and it will be action will be my customer i'll change it to customers view customers so this is how you add one more menu items let's now run the application and see things in action Fine, so now I, you can see there is one more new menu items. If I click on that, it is a customer portal and the email address. So I have added one more view and I showed you how to uh, enable that to display. Now I will show you how do you change your default direction. So uh, now when the application is executing and it is calling index page by default, now we will have to call this page. So in order to do that, you will go to our programs. Controller will st still remain home controller because we have added this method over here. But instead of index, we will say my customers. Now when you run this application, you should be able to see our page, which we created. Yes, that's it. This is a default page, this is our page, and this is a privacy page. Now, I have shown you with the default own controller. If you want, you can also add your own controller. To do that, right click on controller, say controller, empty controller, click on add, and name the controller. Demo. So I have created my own controller demo and inside that I can create one more method as demo view and it returns view. Now this if you notice there is a home controller because we created a controller and added a page. Now this is a new controller called demo. So, and inside the controller, we have a method called demo view and index. Both these views are not physically available over here in the views folder. The moment you right click on this demo view and say add view, and name it as demo view, you see there is a folder created now inside the views and also added a page as demo view. So we will just copy this text from here and paste it over and name this as demo view. I'll show you in your layout page we will add one more menu but this time we won't take home but we will say demo and this is the action demo view remember i showed you in the demo controller we have something called demo view now let us go ahead and run the application So I didn't change the name with one minute, so I'll just change it to demo view. Yes, so we have seen a, another view now with a new controller, so demo view. So in this video, you are able to understand how the navigation is happening in an MVC core application and how you can add controllers and how you can create views and navigate between the views and uh, apply the changes in your default layer, layout page. 
I hope this short tutorial will be helpful to you. Please do subscribe and like this video. Thank you.